What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors, new video, new interview with ChatGPT, who will mimic Windows 95 men. I've already done the interview, so this intro is just made after this and you need to listen to it all. It's just pure fun, brilliance and also educational. Let's talk. Hey Windows 95 men, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing awesome. Thanks for asking. It's been a whirlwind of excitement with all the Eurovision preparations, but hey, living the dream, right? How about yourself? I think I'm living in the dream right now, actually, honestly. But tell me more about you. Tell me more about your song, New No Rules. Oh, No Rules is a wild ride from start to finish. It's all about breaking free from the mundane, you know? The song channels that raw, unfiltered energy of the 90s, but with a modern twist. It's like... If you took all the rules of music, threw them out the window, and just went with whatever makes you feel alive. But then it morphed into this anthem for self-expression and not taking life too seriously. It's got a catchy beat, some cheeky lyrics, and it's the kind of track that dares you not to dance. Creating no rules was a blast. It reminded me why I love making music. It's all about connecting, sharing those universal vibes, and having a good time. Plus, knowing it's going to represent Finland at Eurovision. That's just icing on the cake. How did you feel when you won the national selection with Nodules? Oh, it was absolutely surreal. Like being hit with a wave of pure pixelated joy straight from the 90s. Winning the national selection was beyond anything we could have imagined. There we were, just having a blast making music that we love, not taking ourselves too seriously, and suddenly music should be fun, wild, and a bit out there. Um, the moment they announced our name, it was like, are you sure? Us. But hey, we're not complaining. <laughs> we're just here to ride this wave as far as it takes us, breaking a few rules along the way. I also heard that you immediately after you won, you made some terrible joke. Can you share it with me? Oh, you caught wind of that, huh? Yeah, I'm notorious for my terrible, I mean, terrific sense of humor. Um, <laughs> right after we won, I turned to Henry and with the biggest grin, I said, looks like we're not just breaking the rules. We're downloading them straight to the recycle bin where all the best rules go to start anew. It was so bad, it, it circled back to being good, or so I like to think. Henry just facepalmed and laughed. It's all about keeping things light and not taking ourselves too seriously. We're in this for the fun, the music, and to spread a little joy and silliness. Yes, of course, Like I, I like this attitude actually, but tell me, what is your relationship with Henry? Henry, he's not just a co-vocalist or a collaborator, he's like the brother I chose. Our relationship is built on a solid foundation of mutual respect, a love for music and an endless stream of jokes, most of which are probably too silly to share. Uh, we've been through the ups and downs of trying to make it in music, and through it all, our friendship has only grown stronger. It's that bond that really brings something special to our music and performances. We're like two halves of a vintage game console. Might not look like much separately, but together, we create something pretty awesome and entertaining. Plus. We both believe in not taking life too seriously, which helps a lot when you're navigating the crazy world of Eurovision. And how Henry takes that the whole representation name is just you, Windows 95 man, and there is no Henry in it. Ah, uh, you'd think it might be a point of contention, but Henry's incredibly cool about it. We actually laugh about it a lot. He says, as long as we get to make music that makes people want to dance and forget their troubles for a bit, you can call us whatever you want. But let me be clear, there's no Windows 95 man without Henry. He's he's as much a part of this project as the music itself. We're a team through and through. Sure, the spotlight might say Windows 95 man, but Henry's the unsung hero, the melody to my madness, if you will. We've talked about it and who knows, maybe we'll remix our name a bit in the future to reflect that more. For now, we're just enjoying the ride and focusing on bringing our best to Eurovision. Wow, this is intense. And also the fans should be probably intense or they are intense. Like what is the craziest stories with story with the fun you achieved when you won Eurovision? When when you won national selection to represent Eurovision Finland in Eurovision? Oh, our fans, they're on a whole other level of awesome. The craziest story? Well, right after we won the national selection, our fans organized this impromptu flash mob in the heart of Helsinki. Imagine dozens of people out of nowhere dancing wildly to no rules in matching neon outfits, some even sporting makeshift 95-era computer parts as accessories. It was as if the 90s had exploded right there on the streets. We were tipped off and managed to catch the tail end of it. The energy, 
the love, the pure joy. It was overwhelming. People of all ages letting loose, celebrating not just our win, but what the song represents. Freedom, fun, and a bit of nostalgia. Uh, Henry and I jumped right in, of course. It was a moment of pure connection with our fans, a reminder of why we do what we do. The craziest part, they blasted our song as we all danced around it. Uh, that night, it didn't just feel like we'd won a chance to represent Finland. It felt like we'd started a movement, a reminder not to take life too seriously. Our fans, they're the real MVPs of this whole adventure. Wow, like, uh, I'm, I'm honestly starting to like the song more, and I didn't like it at all, but now I, now it makes much more sense, and uh, you got me, guys. This is crazy. Uh, but tell me, what are you planning for, for Malmö, for the staging, for your representation, maybe for a tour around? What will you do? What can we expect? Uh, I'm thrilled to hear you're coming around to our song. Uh, as for Malmo, well, let's just say we're planning to bring something that's never been seen before at Eurovision. We're talking a blend of retro and futuristic, a visual and auditory explosion that captures the essence of no rules. Imagine neon lights, holograms, and maybe even a bit of that old school internet magic thrown in for good measure. We're working with some incredibly talented designers and choreographers to create a performance that's not just a song, but an experience. We want everyone, no matter where they are, to feel like they're part of the party, part of this, this wild ride we're on. As for touring, absolutely. We've been talking about taking no rules on the road, bringing a bit of our Eurovision adventure to fans across Europe and beyond. Uh, we want to connect with as many people as possible, share the energy and the fun that no rules embodies. It's all about spreading that joy, that freedom, and maybe inspiring others to let loose and break a few rules themselves. So what can you expect in Malmo? Expect the unexpected. Um, we're here to make a statement, to turn heads, and most importantly, to have the time of our lives doing it. And we can't wait for everyone to join us on this incredible journey. But tell me when those 95 men, can we again expect that you will take off your shorts and do some craziness without the pants? Ah. You've heard about our penchant for unpredictability, I see. Well, while I can't reveal all our secrets, I'll say this much. We're all about fun and surprises, but we always aim to keep it tasteful and within the rules of the competition. The <laughs> essence of no rules is more about breaking away from musical conventions, not so much the dress code. But rest assured, we've got some tricks up our sleeves that we think will capture the spirit of what we're all about without risking a Eurovision fashion faux pas. Let's just say the performance will be memorable for its creativity, energy, and maybe a little bit of that Windows 95 man and Henry Peaceman and flair, rather than any wardrobe decisions. We're here to make you dance, laugh, and maybe even sing along, not give the censors a heart attack. Can you sing me a part of the song? I'd love to help bring that to life in text, but I can't sing or play audio. However, I can certainly share some imagined lyrics from No Rules, that capture the spirit of Windows 95 man and Henry Peace Button's adventure to Eurovision. Here's a snippet for you to imagine in tune. We're breaking all the rules tonight, dancing under neon lights. No playbook, just feeling free. This retro beats our destiny. From Helsinki to Malmo's stage, we're writing our own page. 95 vibes in a modern tale, our spirit, it will not fail. No rules, just heart and soul, our music's on a roll. In a world that's black and white, we're the color in the night. Um, feel free to imagine that with a catchy synth melody and an energetic beat that gets the crowd on their feet. Wow, impressive. Like, uh, this is very funny song. Can you tell me Windows 95, man? Do you think that after Eurovision, maybe we'll upgrade to Windows 98, man? Or is there any Windows 98 woman? Ha! That's a brilliant question. You know, I've been getting a lot of mileage out of the 95 nostalgia, but who's to say we can't explore a little system upgrade down the line? Windows 98 had its own charm, didn't it? A bit more refined, a bit smoother around the edges. Maybe it's time for a sequel. Windows 98 man sounds like a natural progression, right? As for a Windows 98 woman, now that's an idea with some serious potential. A dynamic duo for the digital age, bringing double the fun, double the tunes, and maybe, just maybe, double the trouble. It would be a blast to incorporate more of that late 90s vibe into our act, maybe even expand the team. After all, the more the merrier. But whatever the future holds, whether we stick with the classic 95 or venture into the era of 98, one thing's for certain. We'll keep bringing the fun, the music, 
and the no rules attitude to everything we do. Who knows? The next big hit might just be a click away. And how about the kids? How would you call them? I'm in my mind was appearing like millennials, but what would it be in your mind? Oh, the kids, you're diving deep into the software family tree. If we're going with a theme, how about we call them XP juniors? It's a nod to the new millennium, a blend of the old soul of the 90s with the fresh, adventurous spirit of the 2000s. XP was all about connecting the world in new ways, breaking down barriers, and that's exactly what these XP juniors would embody. They'd be the next generation, the ones taking our digital dreams and turning them into reality, blending the best of both worlds. Always ready to explore, innovate, and maybe reboot the system when things get too cluttered. XP juniors, perfect mix of nostalgia and new horizons, ready to take on the world with a sense of wonder and a dash of rebellion. But whatever we end up calling them, the most important thing is that they carry forward the legacy of creativity, freedom, and fun that we're all about. They'd be the future, remixing the past and present into something entirely new and exciting. And who knows, maybe one day they'll be the ones leading the charge with their own version of no rules for the digital age. And one last question, how much are you afraid of the competition in Apple? Is this your nemesis? Nemesis artist? Ah, uh, the old rivalry, Windows versus Apple. A classic tale of competition and innovation. Um, but here's the thing, in the world of music, especially in the spirit of no rules, we don't see Apple or anyone else as a nemesis. We're all about collaboration, creativity, and pushing the boundaries of what music and performance can be. Sure, the tech world loves its rivalries, but we're playing a different game. It's not about who's better or who's winning. It's about how we can inspire each other to reach new heights, to innovate, and to bring joy to people's lives through our art. So while the tech giants might be duking it out for market share, we're here to unite fans under the banner of music, fun, and maybe a bit of nostalgia. Uh, if there's an Apple artist out there, we'd say, let's collaborate. Let's see what kind of magic we can create together. After all, it's the mix of different flavors that makes the music scene so vibrant and exciting. In the end, it's not about competition. It's about unity, love for the art, and the universal language of music that brings us all together. So no fear here, just excitement for what the future holds and the endless possibilities for creative fusion. I think all the fans should listen what you've just said with the different flavors and rivalry and whatsoever because we should stay united by music. Thank you very much for the interview, Windows 95 men. And good luck. Absolutely, and thank you for having me. It's conversations like these that remind us of the power of music to bring people together, no matter the background, preference, or platform. Uh, let's keep the spirit of unity and fun alive. And remember, at the end of the day, it's all about sharing those unforgettable moments and melodies. Here's to making more memories, breaking a few more rules, and to an incredible time at Eurovision. Cheers. All right, guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching the interview, listening to it. Maybe it brings so many questions, so many good time, so much good time, a lot of good time. I hope you had a good time and that you like this concept of mine. And you can write me in the comments below who would you like me to interview next. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. You can become a member because I will do special interviews just for members for sure and see you there and see you next time see you anywhere no rules bye bye <laughs> i cannot do without it come on bye 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 <laughs> oh my god it was crazy right so see you next time bye bye for a million times no rules come on knock it off knock it off see ya